You've had a lot of people, and, and you have been influenced by a lot of what you have seen, mm -hmm. you know, a lot, of, a lot of what you've read and studied and mm -hmm. all of that. Uh, Terry Gillum gave you some advo advice before you made Reservoir Dogs. Mm -hmm. You remember what it was? Yeah, I sure do. You see movies, and they, uh, they can have, be full of vision, and you, know, you want your movies to be like that. But you, know, you see these other movies that are, don't have any vision, but I'm sure the director tried. So what's the difference between this guy versus that guy? How did he, how was this guy able to get this on the screen and how was this guy not able to get this on the screen? I'm sure if I talked to that guy, he'd tell all these, you know, uh, I'm sure he wanted that. Who knows? And I was afraid of being that guy. <laughs> I want to be that guy. And, um, well, Terry Gilliam definitely has a vision. No two, three, four ways about it. So we were at Sundance and um, it was like a lunch going on at the picnic tables there and everyone else defoed. And uh, it was just me and him talking, which was a thrill. And I go, look, you know, you have a very specific vision in your movies and uh, it's right there on the screen. How do you do that? How do you get that vision that's in your head? How do you get it on the screen? And he said, um, well, Quentin, you have to understand, as a director, you don't have to do that. Your job is to hire talented people who can do that. You hire a cinematographer who can get the kind of quality that you want. You don't have to be able to know how to take the lights and move them around to create an effect. You hire a talented costume designer who can give the colors that you need and the flamboyance or not that you want. Uh, you hire a, a production designer who can do that. Your job is explaining your vision. Your job is articulating to them what you want on the screen. And then all of a sudden, the whole mystical shamanistic thing that I thought directing was just went boop, and I realized I could do that that it wasn't this Merlin like magic kit that I needed to know the the right spell in order to conjure I, you oh I can describe what I want I know what's in my head that's the easiest part I'm good at describing you know for years and years whenever I was making shit it was all me because I felt like you know I'm the writer director I got to make sure everything is me up there. People would like try to make up lines and stuff. And I'd be like, no, no, I'm just do what's in the script. That's it. Um, I, later in life, I've, I've kind of gone the other way where I'm just like, you know, if you turn to somebody and be like, well, what would you do? You know, they rise to the occasion. They don't let you down. They give you their fucking best, particularly in that moment. Because the director job is not, it's not, doesn't require a great degree of talent. Anybody in this room could do it. Uh, as long as you're able to communicate with people. Yeah. But more importantly, you just have to be able to answer questions on a dime. And the answers have to, uh, they don't even have to be right. They just have to fucking sound Extra right. Anyone yes. can direct. As long as you can answer questions on a dime. As long as you dime. can answer questions, thank you. Wow, you, you did fucking listen. Uh, well done. Uh, all you have to do is be able to answer questions. That's what the job is. You know, some people will be like, no, it's framing shots and blah, blah, blah. Sure, you have an idea going in of what you want it to look like, but you mean to tell me you sit down with a world-class DP cinematographer and they tell you something or show you an idea that you hadn't thought of yourself, you're going to be like, no, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Fuck no. You're always kind of open to suggestions. So really the direction job solely comes down to your ability to answer questions at a moment's notice and, and turn the ship on a dime if you have to. But basically, that's all they're trying to do. The whole crew, the whole cast, everybody's just trying to pull an image out of your head. As the director, you, clearly, you're supposed to have an idea of what the shit's supposed to look like. So they come up to you on a regular basis, over and over. That's the whole job. And they're like, red or blue? Fucking light or dark? Fucking turkey or chicken? Like, yeah. you just have to be able to answer questions like that. Like, oh, chicken. Oh, fucking dark. Oh, it's got to be blue. You know, and that's the job, essentially. So if you can answer questions, anybody could do that fucking job, to be honest with you. So I've been telling him for years, you could do it and stuff. And he's like, oh, he's tried. He directed a PSA and stuff yeah. like that. I'm always pushing him to do more shit because he's way more talented than he kind of gives himself credit for. Like, he was the battery in my fucking go. You know, he was the guy that kind of without whom I doubt I would have done any of this shit. It was knowing a unique individual like Muse here that like changed the game for me. So naturally I just want to like give it back and be like, do what I did because I did it and I'm a fucking idiot. So I know that you'll be able to do it.